Hello everyone, Michael Hurwitz here for MIDI Kinetics. MK Transport is MIDI Kinetics transport module for Lemur, providing the standard essential DAW transport commands like clock, click, and pre-roll. What's always made MK Transport unique is that it works like a plugin. You just drop it into your project wherever you happen to need transport controls. MK Transport 2 continues in this tradition but it now allows you to resize the individual panels themselves, and you can create your own custom layout. MK Transport will remember their position and their size, and it'll even remember its overall position inside Lemur. And once you've found a layout that you like, you can just save it as a preset. So let's do a quick example. This is the default layout, and it's a square. But I want to do some tracking from a vocal booth in another room and I have a little Nexus Android tablet that I want to bring with me. I'll go into Prefs, and I'll turn off the panels that I don't need. For tracking, I really just need Clock, Transport, Click, and Punch, so I'm just going to turn off all the other panels. When I resize a panel, red helper guidelines appear. Now I just move things into a decent position. When I'm done, I just tap the title bar and the red guidelines will disappear. And now I just go into Prefs and save it as a preset and I'll call it Tracking. MK Transport remembers the position of the window when it was saved. What's really cool is to use MK Transport in combination with other MIDI Kinetics products. This is Seabrains on a big iPad Pro with MK Transport as a sidebar. And here it is with Composer Tools Pro as a footer. So MK Transport is very simple, but here are a few guidelines about how to use it. Don't forget that the Lemur editor has two modes, Edit Mode and Run Mode, that you access by holding down the E key. When you're resizing panels and you're creating your layout, you use the normal Edit Mode and just drag things around. But when you need to resize the outer container or to interact with the controls in any way, then you use the run mode so that the editor will emulate your touches. For more information on run mode, definitely check out the Lemur user guide. Always resize the panels by dragging from the red container guides themselves. If you accidentally grab the buttons inside the containers, don't worry, MK Transport will automatically fill them back out for you. If you resize a panel taller than it is wide, the buttons will automatically reorient themselves into a vertical position. The shuttle panel can even have its control switches move to any edge. When you go to resize the outer shuttle container, the inside panels will just snap neatly into place. Be careful that you don't manually delete any panel or MK Transport may cease to function. If you need to hide a panel, go to Prefs and just set it to hidden. And finally, please note that unlike MK Transport 1, MK Transport 2 is only designed to be operated in bi-directional mode.